Hey everybody, welcome. We are doing the DLCs for Assassin's Creed 3, starting with Washington's Tyranny. Gaydon, rise, we must go. Mother, what are you doing here? Are you still dreaming? We came here together. Now we must go. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. But you're here. I am here. I have always been here. Uh, are you all right? Better than all right. Good. Now come. I have heard screaming in Ganyan Geha close by. We must learn what is going on. This could all be my fault. What is your fault? What have you done? This is different. Okay, so she's going to ignore us. Just ignore the question, Ma. The king said to find a mohawk girl with braids. You're a mohawk, and you have braids. You tried to steal the, the source right. of his power? I'll get the one on the left. <sighs> she's not the one you want. So we're fighting uh, the colonists or the, the continental army now. Why has Washington sent his men to raid the frontier? Washington? To find somebody. A native woman who tried to take it from him. Well, he will not find me by you. <gasps> what could Washington have to do with this? He is no longer commander-in-chief. He retired to Mount Vernon. A lovely fantasy, right on Hagelon. You know Washington went mad with power long ago. I tried to stop him, but failed. And now I have brought down his wrath upon my own people. I do not understand. None of it fits. King are we... Washington's men are raiding Concord right now, murdering everyone. They're looking for you, Ganadio. King Washington. Come. I imagined you would strike us so recklessly. Are you talking about Commander Washington? Why did that woman call him king? People are suffering because of me. Not only the villagers, we must protect as many as we can. She's gonna ignore our questions again. When they tell us where she is, and these people live, refuse, and they burn. It's really quite simple. We don't know who you want. Very well. Please, please. There are women and children in there. Are you a monster? Do not do this. You had your chance. Do it quietly. All right, I think. Don't let them see you. Oh well, um, didn't climb the tree like I wanted to, but here we go. We gotta free those people in the church before they all die. Nice. Yep, that didn't hurt at all. Take them by surprise. I. Okay, maybe I'll think about it. Get them. Yeah, good, good girl. Good mama. 
You, you're next. Yes, come to the whistle. Oh, great. Okay, you're done. Alright, let's get to these doors here. Oh, they got us. Okay, now we got a time limit. Here we go. Got it about in half the time. Get as far away from town as possible. Find shelter in the forest. There's lots of stuff going on right now. Washington's evil, wants power. We need to move quick. They're shelling the town. This craziness. Wow, dude. Talk to me like that, Mom. I'm a grown person. If you didn't know that. I won't forgive myself if we don't stop. This is madness. I cannot understand what is going on. Yeah, the old cliff kill. Alright, here we go. You! I need your help! Help me load the cannon! Ah. The king's army is advancing! Use this gun to stop Sounds him. good. Um, little cannon action. Boom, yay, scatter. They didn't like that. Oh, great. Here they come. Do we even move that quick? Oh, yeah, we're like right there. Yep, just smile. Smile for the camera. And here comes the third set. I don't know why they come in little groups like that. I think... I'm already aimed there. Maybe stay out of the way. That might miss. Okay, yeah, they're on the roof. I kind of put it behind there. Boom. Bye. One of them will get by, I guess. Or maybe two. And shoot. Come on. Oh, my goodness. We didn't even hit him. Alright, shoot again. Get this again. Oh, I'm terrible at this. Sorry guys, you're not getting through. How do you guys know how to load these? Let's try and hit everybody at once. Oh, oh. Okay, I was... Uh, Thought I was a little premature for that one, but do I have like a little bit amount of ammo? We gotta get forward here and kill those guys, but oh, that's not good. We might have made a mistake. Okay, that's a mistake there. It's all right. We'll let four through.
horse guys. I got one of them. <laughs> the horse got back up and ran off. They are retreating. We have it. Washington's troops do not retreat. They advance or die. To Lexington. Sorry. We'll have a better vantage point from there. They sound like real warriors to me. If I had only succeeded in taking a scepter. Now I must make amends. Scepter? Mother, this all becomes more and more difficult to understand. Okay, well, I mean, we're going somewhere. We're going to Lexington. There she is. The savage that tried to steal the source and symbol of my power. Gaze upon it, or it will be the last object you will ever see. I come here to destroy both you and your sad village. But none like you will be allowed to live. Commander Washington, why are you doing this? After all we accomplished, take hold of your senses. <laughs> Another delusional savage. I have never had such a firm grasp on my senses. Now bend your knee to your monarch and make penitence in the last moments before you are blasted to your dread reward. Corporal, take care of them. Brother Hageron, a blue coat over there. Stop them from setting off the powder kegs. Kill anyone trying to light the fuses. Shoot the orc. Oh, he didn't die. Just like the one on Game... Uh, not Game of Thrones. Uh, Here comes another one. Uh, Lord of the Rings. He doesn't kill that one either. And then it gets into the hole and then they blow up the castle wall. more effective to just murder them. Dude, are you serious? What in the heck? Sorry, you got another flame bearer. Stop him! He's almost there! Oh, I didn't see that one. Hopefully we get to him in time. I'll get this one. Put it out. Low swan. Here comes another one. He tried to destroy the entire town. It is all my fault. I do not understand. Washington knows me. He is a man of reason, if nothing else. But that was not the man I once called my friend. Are you confused? When would you ever have met that monster? I met him. I... Mother, this is all wrong. Washington, the violence, all of it. We must get back and warn our people in the village. Before the Mad King spreads his destruction there. Interesting. Alright, let's get to the village. The Lexington I knew was the scene of a great triumph. And now it is a place of disaster. This way. It will be faster.
An ambush. Mad King George is on the war path and intends to destroy our village. We need every able body to protect it. Come with us. We know. Oyanair sent us to collect the boughs of the Great Willow. She means for us to defend our people. To make the tea? Has she lost her senses? The tea's pitfalls overshadow its power. You must not do it. You have seen what it can do. Is it dangerous? I have seen it. It is worse than dangerous. It is a promise of madness, even death, for those who lack the Constitution. We cannot disobey the Clan Mother. Believe me! The tea of the Great Willow is folly. Come back with us. We will fulfill the Clan Mother's request. We will collect the bows. Speak to Oyanair, and if you can convince her, we will burn them. I intend to. It sounds like those who drinketh of the tea have more than happy endings in store. Some bad stuff befell those before, perhaps? I don't know. We'll see. I'm assuming that we get to drink it at some point. What is the tea of the Great Willow? Something our people should never have discovered. It is the tea brewed of the Great Willow's virgin boughs and consumed by our warriors. It grants certain strengths for the Hungaron, but for every physical boon it gives, it robs a piece of the mind. It must never be made. Did you drink it? Never. But I have seen what happens to those who do. You are the son of a man of violence. It would affect you far more than anyone else. I will not allow you to drink it. Oh, well, Mom told us we couldn't drink the tea. Thank the Maker we are not too late. <laughs> couldn't drink the Kool-Aid in the cult. What's going on? I can't drink anything. You intend to brew tea of the Great Willow? Have you forgotten the consequence of drinking it? I have not. No, Ganadio. But when our people face a threat like the Mad King, there are no other paths. No other paths? We can fight them as human beings. My son and I have had success, just the two of us. Imagine the strength of our whole village. And how many of these fearless blue coats have you brought down at a time? Two? Five? Ten? Thousands will come to destroy us. Thousands that you awoke. Our people's survival depends on the strength of the Great Willow. You are as mad as the King. Do what you will, but my son will not drink the tea. Then like you, he will die. No way, dude. We ain't dying. Stupid old woman. What would you have us do, Mother? We have no choice but to fight. I know. I have something that will help. Something for your father. My father? He left it for you long ago. Before he died. My father left those for me. He was part of an order. A secret brotherhood. I know who my father was. And I know what those are. You do? They will certainly help. How do you know all this? I cannot explain. Everything is all wrong here. All of this should not be. You should not be. I watched you. He hath come for the village. 
Yeah, that's a weird, uh, what, alternate universe, I guess, I suppose. Even though it's weird, still, that he can remember what happened before, I guess. Run to the forest! I'm gonna say Big Dream. there's a lot of these guys are we supposed to be able to uh, complete this I don't have a health bar or anything like that so I assume that this is predetermined already General Putnam General Arnold sometimes despair of our project. I question my abilities and my strength. But with you two at my side, I believe we will bring liberty to this country. And we will bring it with fists of iron. And I have assurance of your loyalty. You have my solemn pledge. And mine. Thank you, honorable gentlemen. This country will remember you. Give no quarter to the savages! You will not succeed here. <laughs> you? You survived. How astonishing. This time I'll make certain of your death. Well, that was easy for him. Mother! Washington. You are fighting the force of liberty. Kind of reminds me of uh, when you fight Ganon on on Zelda, the final. With my power, time. I will rule over a free world. Oh, a little different now. Well, not really. I mean, you know, he kind of does that when he pounds the ground or whatever. I just couldn't reflect it back. Maybe I was supposed to. Yeah. that here for good measure well that was a good DLC what do we got oh okay the tyranny of King Washington okay so it gives us a title what credits now Feel like us dying is a, an appropriate end to our dream. Five months later? Are you kidding? He is awake. Where are we? A safe place, by the grace of your brothers. The village. 
And George burned it. It was after your mother. Your stubborn mother. Where is she? She did not listen, and now she is dead. You take the news well. It is something that I knew. That I know. But Commander Washington, the revolution... How did this come to be? No one knows how King Washington came to possess the scepter. But now that he has it, no one can stop him. We were surviving, staying out of his way. It's your mother tried to steal it from him. And that just angered him more. Now, our king are dead. And the people of the frontier are murdered and imprisoned. How did we survive? By the strength granted us. By the Great Willow. The strength you now must find. But my mother, she said... Your mother was a fool, full of ideals and bullheaded. Now that King George's power has been threatened, he is making slaves of everyone. Redonagedon. It falls to you to make good on your mother's mistake. Journey to the Great Willow, climb her, retrieve the virgin boughs in her canopy, drink their essence and gain the power to fight. To bring down this mad King George. What power? Gather your strength and I will show you. Okay, but first two things. That lady's voice is different, and didn't those guys already get this stuff? Said they were gonna. You are ready. Great Willow, at the top of the mountain. Yes, I will return with the boughs and perhaps some fresh meat to cook. Oh, never mind the meat. Just bring back the branches, boil them in water, and drink the tea. Only then will you be ready to return and fight back with your brothers. Drink her strength. Become one of us. Leave no tracks leading here upon your return. Go! I will meet you at the Red Willow Tree. Alright, how are we gonna leave no tracks on our way back? Anyways, here we are at the Red Willow Tree. Skyward Journey. You are on your own now. How dangerous is it? Each journey to the Sky World is unlike any other. For some, it is very dangerous. You will find your answers are at the very top of the willow. <sighs> yep, there it is. Climbing mission. Alright, let's go up this tree and get super high on some sort of tea that they're gonna make me drink. This wasn't obvious and I just decided to skip it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Here we are at the fire. We got to the top just to jump back down. I don't even think we got anything. But we're gonna make our tea and drink it too. I am sorry, Mother. I must speak to Washington to make sense of this. It is the only way. Well, dealer gave you some dank crap. That, I knew it. Here we are, high as a kite, in your dream. <sighs> um. 
friends okay they ran away no touching rocks and we have to follow these wolves that's gonna not be great but we'll try The amount of times that it said reduce distance from target and that elk thing um, really made me think I was going to desync like a hundred million times. Okay, maybe not the track the elk thing for its heartbeat or whatever, but definitely the other one. is lame I just got what put back up to the top R to use wolf cloak oh okay he gave me a special ability I thought we started over I, I thought he murdered me We can take down the elk. Yes, feed, feed wolves. Wolves. My bad. Come on, have some respect. Sky world journey. It's my bad. I didn't want to copy Zelda too much. I want to play Zelda now. Was it just a dream? Could I... Could I actually... You best stop moving. Dodge bullets. My tomahawk. They have taken it. Did they? I shall enjoy getting it back. Not cool, bro. Sounds like something a serial killer would have said. No one can stop me with such a power. That sounds like something a dictator would say.
After getting done with all that, we can rejoin the other X-Men. Brother Hongedon, I am happy to see you. Hello, my friend. Have you seen my brother? I last saw him just before I climbed the Red Willow Tree. We were tracking blue coats and lost sight of each other. I am worried that he is captured. I fear you may be right. Was your sky journey successful? Very successful. Perhaps you can join me in the search for my brother. Any secrets you learn from your journey may be very useful. Such a great warrior must not be lost to us. Of course I will help you. Guy's like, how'd your sky journey go? <laughs> Connor's like, better than yours, probably. We are almost there. Last I saw my brother, he was right around here. This fire is still smoking. They were just here. This is my brother's bow. It is certain that he was here. This old man's body is still warm. In this weather, it cannot be more than two hours since he died. During your sky journey, tell me, what animal called to you? It is difficult to talk about, but I was fortunate to meet the wolf. Mm -hmm. You journey to a powerful place. You are fortunate. Perhaps. After a while of searching, we can come up on this wagon. After the fight, the prisoners were marched up the hill. You seem to have the nose of the wolves. Heck yeah, the wolves. What do you have, the beaver? The squirrel? What's your special ability, you hide nuts? I got nothing. This isn't right. Could you call on your spirit animal? I <laughs> cool. I see that I was right. Your sky journey has given you a powerful gift. I am certain it will help our search. What do you 
want with me? I didn't do nothing. Wasn't hurting nobody, just hunting deer. The mother fellas is who you want. What others? Bunch of shoulders. I know them. Nasty fellas. Saw them rounding up engines over yonder. One of the Braves. Did he have a hand marked on his face? You mean like a big tattoo across his chin? Yeah, I seen that fella with him. Hard to miss. Take us to this camp. Uh, sure. Sure. Whatever you gentlemen want. Okay, um, pretty obvious. He's not gonna do what we asked. The wolves. Use them. Oh, Savages! For the love of the king! Help! Someone help me! They're going to kill me! Brother. My brother. I knew you'd find us. It's thanks to Radon Hagedon. Radon Hagedon. We will make sure that these people are taken care of. You should return to the clan mother. She will want to hear of our adventure. Yeah, let's return to her. She pretty much owns us, right? Clan mother. <laughs> I feel like with the wolf power, we should probably just be alright with them. It looks like bad news, considering all the dead bodies around. Uh, in the cave. Oh, there she is! Followed your trail back here. Your brothers fought well, but there were too many. I thought the tea gives strength, not immortality. It gives me life. I have never felt anything like it. You must be careful. Respect the power of the tea. Your mother was right to worry about the danger. Uh, I am certain I can defeat anyone. Good. First, kill Arnold. Stop the destruction here. Then kill Washington. You must succeed. Radonagedon. If not you, nobody.
<laughs> Say the Mia nobody. Yeah, you know, she did tell us to cover our tracks. We decided not to. We're gonna have to live with that consequence. Also, our two boys made it back before we did, and they just died, so... So much for the X-Men Dream Team. <sighs> Alright, let's get to the next spot or whatever. Investigate the Blue Coat Camp for clues to Arnold's location. Putnam gutted a man yesterday for having dirt in his musket. I'm all for weeding out the weak, but this is something else entirely. Be careful, lad. We're on the right side, but that doesn't mean we're safe. We dealt with those savages like we were supposed to. Tough as nails they was, but we brought them down. Felt good. We have nothing to worry about. Don't be so sure. We've got one more day in this place before we're relieved, and then it's off to the Valley Forge awaiting orders from Commander Putnam. Gone off into some sort of seclusion until the king sets his plans. Putnam is acting commander until Arnold comes back. Huh. Washington's got weird plans. And we are gonna stop them. Putnam's in charge. There's a lot of weird stuff going on here. We're gonna get to the bottom of it, maybe. We are very grateful. I would help you with your people, but I must get to Valley Forge. Once everyone is safe at the refugee camp north of here, I will join you at Valley Forge to help you to repay your kindness. No need. But if I see you there, I will be happy for your help. You may find other camps full of our enslaved people. They are sad reminders of Arnold's terror and devastation. Well, I mean, Arnold was a pretty bad guy, so not pretty bad, I wouldn't say that. He was a bad guy, though, in, you know, moral ways and also just in general, so what do we care about him, necessarily? You know I mean? he'll, we didn't kill him last time, he got away, but still. But Putnam, he was a good man, and Washington... I mean, they, none of them are probably good, but, you know, in, you know what I mean. It's very dangerous here. Guards everywhere. They stalk the edges of the camp with dogs. These are very good dogs, Radunagedon. Alert, with sharp eyes. If you get even many yards away from them, they yowl and bring the soldiers. Thank you. It is not safe here. Go home. You have repaid my kindness. You will succeed, Dragonagedon. Goodbye. Thanks for telling me. Guard dogs disrupt the wolf cloak. Thank you. Bad dog. Oh, okay. Hope 
hopefully, uh, no animal rights people come after me for that one. Also, YouTube's a dog-friendly community. We don't put dogs down on YouTube because it's frowned upon. Cats? A little bit of a different story for some reason. Dogs? Not okay. I'll speak with Arnold myself. Yes, sir. I'll arrange a detail to escort you immediately. I do not need one. You are acting commanding officer in my absence. If anything should go wrong, well, your widow will be provided for. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Don't fail me again, Admiral. You get it? Because he killed all of his guys that he put in charge if they did anything wrong. That's how Darth Vader did it. That's how Putnam should do it. Alright, looks like we gotta save some folks. Maybe. Also, I probably won't, considering that we gotta follow Putnam here. Sorry, guys. You're just... Hopefully they treat you well. Alright, we follow Putnam... All the way to this uh, fort. And he enters. No. Okay, well, we'll free the bear. Because that's something that we should have to do, I think. It's the main objective. There was some side objectives, but I didn't read them quick enough, so... Oh, well, there we go. Uh, that guy's just not... He doesn't care about his buddy. Dude, did you have a heart attack? Oh, well, well. well. Alright, let's free the bear. Yeah, I guess I get it. When there's a bear on the loose, you should probably go out and make sure it's there. You know, I wouldn't want to, I don't know, stay inside. Like, it's a bear. Chances are it's just going to leave. Oh, uh, we gotta go and assassinate old Benny Arnold. Got him. 
that ends this mission, and it also ends this episode. So we'll finish off this, and that'll be the end of this one. I have waited a long time to end your treachery. You escaped me once, but today you die. Who are you? What, what is happening? You know who I am. I've never seen you before in my life. Washington's apple. He, he uses it to control men. You, you have to believe me. I, I, I was not in my right mind. What you did at West Point was of no one's mind but yours. West Point? I, I never set foot in that fort in my life. <clears throat> Please. Washington. He, he's gone mad. You, you have to bring him down. He's... He's no more a man, but a monster. Find Benjamin Franklin in Boston. Uh, he can help you. But you have to... You have to free him. Free him from where? Where? Enjoy your nap! <laughs> it's a shame about old Arnold, but I had to laugh at your expression when I hit you. Great big eyes and then out! <laughs> out like a light! God damn you, Putnam! <laughs> you woke up just in time. We'll be arriving in Boston. Town that will soon be mine. Washington will love it. Look, sir. The man who defied you. The man you shot point blank. I give him to you as a little gift. <laughs> Look, he wears a wolf hat, too. You have gone mad. All of you. <laughs> <laughs> With that, he'll kick out Ben Franklin for sure, and Boston will be mine. It's in the bag, just like your head! <laughs> And there it is, the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Have a good day, night, whatever it might be, and goodbye.